What's up guys, welcome to the channel. On today's video, we are taking the WL Toys 144001 and the XLF F16. I'm gonna strip them both down and I'm gonna compare all the components. You asked for this one, so make sure you watch this video and don't complain about it. So this is my trusty WL Toys 144001. It's had a bit of a hard life. It's had 3S thrown in it loads of times. It's been on the beach. It's been bashed about. It's gone to the skate park. It is all working and it's, and it's still got the original ESC. The newer ones have got a slightly different ESC and I think that might be a bit of a weak spot. But this one has definitely seen some action. And this is the new XLF F16. Um, lots of people are calling it a clone or a rip-off of the WL Toys. Well, firstly, there's lots of different things on this, what we're gonna look at. And that might be a rip-off of that, but that's a rip-off of one of these, which is an LC Racing uh, EMB. This is the monster truck version. I've also got the Truggy version. I've not unboxed that yet, but, so that's a rip-off of a rip-off, if you wanna look at it that way. There'll be videos of this uh, coming soon, and the Truggy, and I will tell you now, sneak, insight the quality on this is something else brushless as well anyway what i'm going to do first we'll put that to one side i'm going to completely strip the 144001 down uh, i'll put that all in a nice neat pile then i'll strip that down then i'll organize it all sort it all out and i'll talk about what's the same what's not what i think's better on that one and what i think's probably better on this one anyway uh, i'll catch up with you in a bit And there is the WL Toys 144001 in pretty much uh, individual pieces. Not completely, I've stripped most of it down. I've left a few bits together. I'll explain in a minute. So I think what I'm gonna to do to save myself some hassle, um, I'm gonna strip this down, but I'm not gonna strip it down to the level of that. We're gonna, um, I'm gonna strip it down, but like for instance, the arms, I'm only gonna do one front arm, one rear arm to compare. We can check the gearing, we can check the diffs, but I'm not gonna go to the extremities of that because it's pointless. We can match stuff up without having to strip it all the way down. So I'll be back when this is partially stripped and then we'll start looking. And then we'll start looking at the compatibility of these parts on this and vice versa. Right then. <laughs> Good news or bad news? Well, it depends how you look at it. We'll get the first bit out of the way, and that is the gearing. The reason this thing was slower is because some of you did say, and I'm pretty sure I said in the video as well, the gearing might be different, and that's correct. I'm gonna get a closer shot for you now of the gearing. So it is geared a lot smaller. If you look at the, uh, put them next to each other there. Massive difference in um, gearing. Big spur, little pinion. And then the WL Toys uh, has got WL Toys got much bigger pinion and a slightly smaller spur. Now something to note on this as well, it is really there's not much play in there. There's no backlash at all there. So the whining or the noise, the um, transmission noise was definitely that pinion, but it doesn't look like it's adjustable. So that is a bit of an issue. There's a fixed point for that uh, motor, so you can't. You can't adjust it. Um, so that is gonna be an issue. Anyway, gearing is different, hence this thing was slower. On the left, you've got the XLF diff. And on the right, you've got the WL Toys. Now, a <laughs> uh, big difference in diff size as well. Uh, different pitch on there. So smaller diffs again, so changing the gearing on that. These actually, because these are a lot more weightier, what bigger, look at the difference in the uh, uh, diff cup size as well, much more beefier, even though the diffs are smaller, the XLF has got much beefier looking um, diff cups. And the diff housings are smaller, so there's no way of switching diffs between the WL Toys and the XLF. So completely different, the holes don't line up either, so they, um, so you'll not be able to mount the XLF diffs on the WL Toys because the holes are different, completely different chassis. That's your alloy um, center shaft. That's uh, That feels like steel rather than alloy. 
and it's a lot chunkier as well. So beefier center shaft on the XLF. And then again, on the left is your XLF uh, CVD and on the right is your WL Toys. Now two things, the XLF one is uh, thicker, again, chunkier, beefier, and it's got an M4 uh, thread on the end. But the XLF one's slightly shorter. Uh, the arms, the bottom arms, are shorter as well. So it's got a slightly a slightly lesser track. So the WL Toys is a wider track than the XLF by maybe a couple of mil. And that's uh, apparent on the arms as well. Uh, quite hard to see on the photo, but the, uh, the WL Toys arms are just slightly longer so wider track and that's the same on the rear as well front and rear are the same although these arms will fit on the xlf so the plastic arms look like they're going to fit uh, just a slightly longer track front strut towers two and a half mil three mil thick so thicker on the xlf and that won't fit because the uh, diff housings are slightly narrower on the xlf so um, that won't go on the WL Toys and that won't go on the XLF. You can see a difference there in the top bar as well. They won't fit. Uh, you can't swap them between the two, which is a shame because that's the ESC's mounted forward on that one, which is probably a bit of a better place, but they're completely different. That's got holes in the center. That's got two holes either side for the diff housing, so they won't fit. <laughs> you can see where this is going, can't you? And finally, I'm not gonna go on any more about anything else really. The shocks are also different. These are narrower. These are big. These are a bigger bore than these. So if you get anything out of this, I mean, they feel they both feel quite good. But the um, the W Toy shocks bigger bore. They're slightly longer though. W Toys ones are slightly longer. So you might be able to fit them on the XLF, and they might give you a little bit better suspension. But these ones feel uh, fine anyway. And the wheels are completely different. They're both twelve mil hex. The uh, that's the they're the rear wheels on the WL Toy. So the the wheels on the XLF are slightly wider than the rear wheels on the WL Toy. So if anything, get yourself a new set of wheels. You can interchange the wheels. Other than that, guys, everything's different. Well, I got to put all this back together now. Um, anyway, I hope that answers some of your questions and I covered most of the stuff. I'm sure some of you are going to say, "Oh, well, you should have shown us that," or it would have been nice to see that. Um, can only do so much. Um, this is going to take me a long time to put it all back together. Cheers for watching. Look out for more videos of some of this and the uh, LC racing up there. I'll see you next time. Just putting this one back together. I remembered I haven't told you which one I'd recommend. Well, this one, the uh, the XLF is definitely beefier, like beefier drivetrain and stuff. What, what lets it down though is just that um, it's just the mesh for the, the motor and the spur, and you can't adjust that the motor. And I have heated them up as well to try and get that motor mount out in. That is not coming out. This must have been built in the same factory they put the armors together with the amount of Loctite on that. Anyway, if you're serious about speed running, this might be a good investment for the um, tougher drivetrain. It's a little bit more expensive than the WL Toys. These are tried and tested. Things do break, but most of you out there that have had these a while know uh, what's what but if you got a bit of spare cash lying around wait until you see my review of these lc racing trucks it may change your mind about these two clones